what's going on guys i'm going to show you how to set up your website for reader revenue manager so as you can see reader revenue manager uh, is a new way for to let you uh, set up a subscription for your website for news so you're going to set up a price uh, regarding uh, what you publish what you put out there for people to read so it's a new way to make money on google news so first of all your website has to be approved uh, in google news publish center your google i mean your website has to be approved as you can see my website uh, it's live and it's approved so in order to get your website to google news publish center that's another story you can check online how to get uh, your website on google news manager so what we're gonna focus on uh, is how to set up your website for reader revenue manager so first you're gonna click here on open as you can see i already set some of the things and it's just waiting for verification for my identity so it's very easy just three simple steps and you've done you finished so what we're gonna start with um, is the price so you can choose what you want your website to be either subscription or contribution so for me since this is new to me i'm just trying i'm just trying to see uh, what this is going to be about so i'm not gonna do a subscription for now i'm just gonna try to see how this is gonna work so maybe in case later i'm gonna change so i'm just gonna click on contribution when you click on contribution you come here to uh, create and pricing. So this is what your pricing is going to be. If it's one time to read, I put $2, but you can also change that. You can change that to either three, four, or whatever it is. So easy stuff so members so this is where you're gonna see your members when you have uh, more subscribers who subscribe to your website this is where they're gonna show up so insights so this is where it's gonna show you about a new member activate member cancellation so this is where it's gonna show you everything and your cms uh, this is your code this is the code that you're gonna copy. I'm gonna show you uh, later what this is gonna be about. This is the this is the code that you're gonna copy and paste in your WordPress website. So as you can see, as you can see, I set my website just for contribution for now, but you can always change these settings later okay so that's done so um finalize and pricing your profile payment is this is what your profile payment is it's just like adsense you see you can change your payment you know if you're new to adsense you're gonna uh, apply and add your name so this is where your profile payment is. If you have more than one payment, you can also change that. And that's what it is. Okay. And the next one is the code. So once you set up your code, okay, so once you create a pricing for a website, it's going to set up a code. Once you set up your um, pricing for a website, you're gonna click this code here where it says code 
you're gonna copy this code and you're gonna go through web your website first you're gonna make sure you have this plugin and uh, web yp code light if you don't have it you click here add new plugin web the code As you can see, this is I already have it and I already activated. So, once this plugin is activated, you're gonna come down here to a code and you're gonna click here to uh, add a spin it. So, you're gonna click there and you're gonna click here it says add a custom new spin it. You're gonna click there. okay so once you're here you go to um, to your code you view your code you copy your code you come here you're gonna name you're gonna put whatever name you want at revenue whatever you want then you're gonna click here and paste the code and make sure it's in auto insert and just leave this as is it's gonna be on any type of device and yeah and make sure this priority is on 10 okay so then you're gonna click here active and it's gonna save click here on save save and you make sure it's on uh, html spin it you're gonna click on save so i already have a code so i'm not gonna add more code you're gonna click done it's gonna give you all this blue stick Okay, so verify your website. So this, your website is already being verified on website, like I told you before. So, and then for ID verification, you're gonna accept the term and condition and you're gonna click on verify identity. It's going to be on uh, the front of your ID and the back of your ID. And that's all it's going to take. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you find this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, guys, please uh, subscribe to the channel.